Ladies and gentlemen, we are Jack and Sally from the Haunted Pirates. And today we're talking all about sleeps on Sea of Thieves. for a while now and we learned pretty quickly exactly how chaotic working together on this game can be. And by working together we also realised it had a real potential for causing arguments. So we worked out that by sticking to different roles on the sloop can be a real game changer. It's great when you're playing with your friends, it also works really well for open crews or people without voice comms so everyone just knows what they're doing without the need for massive conversations. So we decided to break this down into two different roles, a helmsman and the gunner. So when it comes to deciding who was going to do each of the two roles, it was pretty obvious because I cannot drive the boat to save my life. So that's where Jack comes in. So I always take the position of the helmsman uh, and that is pretty much everything you do up on the top deck of the sloop. Uh, mostly the wheel and driving comes down to the helmsman. Um, the sails, both types, raising and lowering and twisting if you have the time for it. Uh, and generally being a lookout and, and calling what, what's going on because as the helmsman, you're higher up, you can see a bit more, whereas the gunner is usually down on the, the main deck, you know, or could be on a cannon, where they get quite a bit of tunnel vision. Or you just tell me that left is right and right is left. Well, yeah, all that. So when I say look out and calling, it's giving a rough idea of, uh, of what's going on. Um, as the helmsman, you're the first person to deal with boarders. You know, they come up on the ladders next to you. So I usually have the blunderbuss ready. Um, and then when we come to repairing the boat, this is where there's a real difference between how we approach it. In terms of the approaching, <laughs> what Jack really means is that he bails, generally throws water in my face whilst bailing, whilst I'm quickly repairing all of the holes in the boat. Um, but then I also do bailing as well when we're getting to the point when we're about to sink. Yeah, yeah. and so you, I think you touched on that exactly. Um, as the helmsman, um, I'm, I'm bailing but not repairing. And there's a real reason for this. Um, you can abandon the wheel, you can set it in place, and the boat will do its thing. Um, and if you're only bailing and you're managing to tank whatever damage is coming in, whilst the gunner is still able to put some damage out. Uh, if you're dealing with you know, skeleton boats or other players especially, you don't want to sacrifice shooting off the one cannon you've got on the boat um, when, you know, when the boat's fine to sailing along by itself. The caveat to that is obviously I don't then disappear under the deck for ages repairing all the holes and have no idea where the boat is going. Um, you need to keep an eye on what you're heading towards so you don't end up crashing into rocks and sorts. One of the other things um, that really comes up for the helmsman as well is obviously the mast. As soon as that takes a hit, you need to be abandoning everything and pulling it up. Um, but again, working together in that teamwork aspect, the, the mast falls into both of us. So whereas I immediately pull it up. I can then start repairing it once it's up to its full height. And that's really the kind of overview of the helmsman. So you're driving, you're doing the sails, you're being a general lookout, repelling borders if you can, um, and then tanking the boat to keep it alive when you have that free space, but not spending too much time actually repairing. Uh, and then when the mast goes down, you know, the sloop's got one, so it's your main priority, you're dragging it up as quick as possible. And that's really me as an overview. Sally does a fantastic job as a gunner, um, and she'll go over a few of the things that she, she focuses on most. Yeah, so as a gunner, it sounds pretty obvious you're shooting things, but there's a lot more to it than that. So obviously the first thing is the cannons, so actually shooting boats. Um, that's the fun part. It's a bit that keeps it interesting, but then there's obviously a lot more around that, which is just as important, if not more important, uh, like Jack touched on before. So one of the other things, though, on the top deck is the harpoons. So obviously as you're sailing along, you may see some barrels, you may see some loot, or if you've taken down a ship and you want to collect that loot, the harpoon is really important. And we have a quite cool way of how we manage that, which we'll talk about in a bit. Um, but that's kind of the main top deck. A lot of it then falls down to the bottom deck. So as we touched on, bailing is mega important for us. It stops the boat from going down. Um, I try to not bail too much to begin with and actually just get the wood on the holes. Uh, essentially that prevents more water coming in. So if Jack's up bailing, then I'll be there filling in all of the holes. Um, I also look after the supplies, so making sure we've got enough of everything. If we're about to go into a battle, the last thing you want to do is only have one cannon, um, uh, cannonball. We found that a few times and Jack doesn't really know what else we can do and we sail away very quickly. Um, 
again, we touched on the mass, so a lot of that is just repairing whilst Jack's pulling it up. And the only other really important thing is actually probably the crow's nest, uh, especially when we're sailing along. Obviously, like Jack mentioned, he can see from that kind of higher vantage point, but it's really useful for me to go up there, especially if we've got a lot of loot on board, just to make sure there's no one in the distance and we can kind of figure out what to do if that's the case. And you are, that really can't be underestimated. You know, the, the crow's nest vantage point is, is brilliant, but there's no use the, whoever's driving the boat going up there and just leaving it free rolling. Um, you know, that information that you can be fed in will help you dodge around islands, avoid things, or if you're hunting someone down, it, it's a great way of keeping track of people. Um, I think this really synergizes together work, working like this. You have to keep in, in good communication, but if you know what your role is and you don't step out of it, you don't need you know, a constant flow of chat. And that's why this is really great for people that don't have voice comms. You know, I know that I'm going to be driving. I also know I'm probably not going to grab hold of a cannon. Um, and it just stops that confusion. Now, th these two roles do synergize together really, really well. Um, as Sally said, she she'll be the one that's repairing and bailing, um, whereas I only bail. And so there are always situations where we will find a need to, to kind of really focus in on that. So if I'm if I'm driving away and we've taken a lot of damage, that's the point where Sally starts repairing, and then me doing my absolute best to get the, to grab some wind and get away is just focusing on driving and getting out of a difficult engagement. Um, if we're just both trying to repair, we lose all sight of what's going on, uh, w w which doesn't help at all. So I think you should always have um, you know eyes on what's going on. So one of us will always um, be paying attention, so we don't just career into an island um, or or just get crept up on. So we've got a few more useful tips that we can share with you, but they're more out of combat. So the first one of these is harpooning and lifting. So as I mentioned before, my one of my main roles is harpooning. However, it can be really time consuming if you're both harpooning and then pulling the item off the harpoon. And especially if you're looting and there's lots of boats around you or you're in a high risk area, that's the last thing you need. So we found it really useful that when I'm harpooning, Jack comes along and takes the items off the harpoon and I think that makes it nice and easy. It kind of almost automates the process. Yeah, it, you know what, that really does speed it up. You know, you never really want to be sat with your anchor down uh, for too long. So if you've just taken down a skeleton boat or you've just taken down another player and you want to get all their loot quickly, you know, Sally doing a great job just harpooning, you know, the other person or myself just runs forwards, takes it off as soon as it's in and you can pretty much just lift loot as fast as you can fire the harpoon. Um, and it's just really quick and effective. I think that the next thing we do more than anything out of combat is just try and make best use of the time. As you're sailing around, we, you spend an awful lot of time just drifting along, watching the waves. Especially in a sloop, it can be pretty slow. We've learned quickly that a brig is so much faster than the sloop. Um, so we usually try and find ways of keeping ourselves busy from utter boredom sailing around the Sea of Thieves. Yeah, definitely. Um, and we will definitely make a, a video detailing the brig at some point, but we spend most of our time on the sloop, so we thought we'd start with that. Um, but one of those things you can do, and it's, a lot of people overlook it, is whilst you're sailing around, you've got an awful lot of time not doing a lot, you might as well start cooking. Uh, most of the islands you pick up raw meat all the time, and most people resort to just using fruit uh, to, to get their health back. But if you spend the, that travel time um, cooking, so one person driving, one person cooking, um, you can end up anywhere you go having loads of loads of food available. Also, the useful thing is, is if you hand in all the cooked meats into the hunter's call, that's more rep with them as well. So not only can it be good for health, it can also be good for increasing your rep with some of the other factions. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and the final thing we, we do that's kind of a bit of synergy between us is navigating and driving at the same time. Um, so whereas I'm up on the wheel, Sally will be down looking at the map, um, plotting our location. And one of the really useful things that we, we found uh, working together is the ability to zoom in on an island and find where the various tradesmen are. Um, so you know, you'll know some of the outposts are, aren't laid out in the best fashion and they've got quite a few different piers that you can stop at. So just knowing and, and calling out where to park is, is really, really useful. Yeah, it certainly prevents if you've got a bunch of loot and you need to get that off quickly, knowing exactly that you're next to the gold hoarder or the merchant is super handy, especially when you're on places like Golden Sand when they're all over the place. The last thing you want to be doing is running for miles to take in all that hard-earned loot. Yeah, and uh, I think I think finally coming in on that is, uh, is just parking the boat. Um, <laughs> 
It's something that we I, I am terrible at, so despite the fact that I am the helmsman most of the time and I'm pretty used to driving the boat, you can pretty much guarantee I'm going to hit that pier. Um, and that's really where it comes down to Sally to either hit the anchor early um, or if I manage to cut the sails in a good amount of time, uh, she'll then grab the harpoons and, and line us up for a good stop. Uh, so Alternatively, you just have plenty of wood ready to fix the holes when you crash into the pier. <laughs> yeah, and you know, that that in itself has probably become one of our tactics at this point in that yeah. I crash the boat and, and Sally just repairs it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been the Haunted Pirates. Hopefully you've enjoyed some of the tips in this video and you find them useful. And we're looking forward to seeing you out in the seas. But before you go, if you found this video helpful, then please help us by liking and subscribing the video. We have Discord, etc., which will all be in the links in the description below. Thanks again.